Hey everyone, uh, Captain Kirby here, and in today's uh, Codename Engine tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to add characters to Codename Engine. Uh, at least the current way to do it. I very well may update this uh, once there once the issues that they're having with the engine uh, stop. Um, so for this, uh, we have uh, first of all, um, we have two tabs open. One has our uh, code name engine that we uh, downloaded in another tutorial, uh, which I will link up above right now um, for downloading uh, code name. So what we're going to want to do, and in the other one I have uh, my character, um, so that's, that's cool. Um, what I'm going to want to do to start is we're going to want to make a new mod folder. Uh, so we're going to go to mods, we're going to click and go new uh, folder. We're going to name it to whatever we want to name it. In this case, I'm going to call it tutorial. Now, tutorial folder. Now, inside these folders, this is where your mods are going to go. Um, as of right now, there is no like pre-built uh, folder that you can just download, so you're going to need to uh, follow me very closely on this. For this tutorial, we are going to need a data folder. And we are going to need an images folder. All right. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into our images folder. We're going to add another folder inside our images folder called characters. And in this folder, we're going to take our sprite sheet.png, which has our character here. A little bit of nostalgia for any of you that uh, know my uh, Yoshi engine tutorials. Uh, we're going to take this, we're going to copy it over. And then we're going to rename it to whatever our character name is. So in this case, I'm going to call it CEO. And in here, we have, obviously, character and our XML. Um, I'll drag the XML over. Here's our XML. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to keep this uh, handy. So I'm going to just going to fold that down for now. Um, and then we'll move on to the next step. Next step in images, we're also going to make another folder. I'm going to call it icons. Inside icons. We're going to take whatever our icon is, in case this is what our icon is. And as you can see, I've already pre-named it CEO.png. Um, now the thing, the very important thing with code name is if you ever if you want everything to very like easily mix together, you name all of the stuff the same. So we have our characters, they're all named CEO. We have our icon, it's named CEO. Very, very clear, very, very um, easy to differentiate. So finally, what we're going to need is our data, uh, our data for our um, character. Now, since Codename uses XMLs, what we're going to do is we're going to hop back out into the main Codename. Uh, we're going to go into the assets. We're going to go into data. We're going to go into a folder called characters, which we're going to make. And we're going to grab our dad.xml. I'm going to copy that by using Control c or right-clicking and selecting Copy. Then we're going to go back out to Codename Engine. We're going to go back to our mods, go into our Tutorial folder. We're going to go into our Data folder. We're going to add a new folder. We're going to call it Characters. And then we're going to go into that folder. Once we're in this folder, we're going to paste our XML. We're going to rename our XML to our character, in this case CEO. We click on the XML. Open it up. As we can see, it's right here. So right away we have is player is equal to false. Uh, flip X is equal to false because it's the dad character. Hold time. And we have whatever the color of their health bar is. Uh, so for CEO, uh, I'm going to quickly grab his, his color of his thing uh, just in the JSON file. So I'm going to move over the JSON file here real quick. Let's have a look. The arrow colors, our health bar color. I'm going to copy this just like that, close out of this, go back in here. We're going to highlight this and we're going to paste that just like that. Easy peasy. So as we can see, uh, we have all of our flipbacks hold time. You can add other things, like if you want to change our size, if you want to change their X and Y, you can do all of that here or here. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, 
we are going to keep it that way. So we're going to go back into here. We're going to open up our second XML. Uh, that is the one that comes with our with our thing here. Uh, we're also going to want to do uh, one other thing here. For our XML over here, we're going to want to change the name. So in this case, curb PNG, we're going to call it CEO.png because that's what it's mapped to. Next, we're going to go over here. We're going to not change any of these whatsoever. We're going to change this, though, to whatever our animation is called. So in this case, we have curb idle. Uh, we have curb up, uh, curb right, oh, that's saying left, curb left, my apologies. Uh, yeah, that's right, that's, that's is, uh, is backwards. Curb uh, left, or right, sorry, right. And finally, we have curb down. Save that, and everything else is correct in here. Now, how we know is this is really nice is that everything is all named the same. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to go go back into uh, our engine. All right, press center. Okay, so we go into FNF. Um, and how we're going to know is we're going to click tab and as you can see our uh, mod is there. So you click tab and our mods are there. We're going to click tutorial. It's going to reload the engine and then we're going to open up our engine. We're going to press 7 and we're going to go down to the character editor. Remember press 7 go down to character editor. Once we're in the character editor as we can already see our icon our character is already there CEO. We can click enter now. Welcome to the uh, code name uh, character editor at, at the moment. I think this is going to get changed. Um, but for right now, this is what it's looking like. So you can click the animation to get it to play. There's his idle, there's his up, there's his left, there's his right, there's his down. Cool. So we have all that. Um, my, I have a custom background here. Uh, I can show you guys how to customize that in a later video if you want. Just let me know in the comments here. Uh, yeah. Uh, all that good stuff. So what we're going to do now is we, now that we have our character, we can go to edit character info, we can see his icon color, we can see all of his um, sprite details, all of his camera position details, everything like that. There's uh, custom values as well that you can apply to some characters. It's very cool, very advanced. But for now we're just going to worry about syncing up his animation and getting him working in a song. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the ghost and we're going to click the ghost. Now what this is going to do is if we go to up, he's now got a ghost. So what you can do is you can do shift plus arrow keys to move it 10 at a time, or you can just do the arrow keys to move it in small increments. You can use your scroll mouse wheel to figure out where his, or where your character's um, animations are normally situated, and use that to base off your next, for your uh, current animation and then do that for all of the different animations. So I'm going to do that real quick here. Everything needs a little bit of adjusting here. And done. Cool. So now what we're going to do is uh, just to show the character editor a little bit more. We can have view, we can zoom in, zoom out, reset the, the zoom, all that stuff. Offsets, we can do all of that stuff up here. Playback, we can play his animation, in this case down. Uh, character, we can make a new animation, edit an animation, or delete an animation, or edit info. All of that is available here. We can add animations down here. We can edit them right here. We can delete them right here. And finally, we go to edit, which is undo and redo. You can undo, redo. File, though, allows you, this, I believe, is broken. If you try and make a new character, uh, Codename crashes at the moment. Like I said, I'm going to update it once it's fixed. We have save, save as, and exit. So we're going to save our character. Now that we've saved our offsets and everything, we're going to save them. 
and we're going to click exit. That's going to bring us back out to here. So what we're going to do is we're going to press 7. We're going to go into the chart editor. And we're going to pick some random song. Um, I want to pick... I want to pick uh, Dad Battle. And we're going to go into the chart. Once we're here, now what we can do is we can go into... And the chart editor will be in a separate video here. What we can do is we can go into the options. We can go into edit here and as you can see we could change the character so we'll change the character we're going to change him to ceo and just like that our icon updates everything looks good save and close we save that and we close it very easy and we're just going to press enter to test our chart whoa he's big <laughs> So now in this case, you're going to want to change all of those values in your character editor. This is mainly just to show you that it works. Um, all of that stuff can also be covered in a separate video. This is mainly just to how, how to add them into the engine. So we'll go into the song and we'll play against some C against the CEO. And as you can see, it works. Very nice, very nice. And that's pretty much how you add a character. Um, so we'll go exit to charter and just leave the charter without saving and dad will always be there. So we'll just go exit to menu. Very nice. And that is how you do it. That is how you add a character to Codename Engine. Very quick little tutorial there. Uh, if you guys want me to go more in depth on everything that you can do with all of the characters, let me know. I also do plan on updating this once uh, Codename has fixed their uh, issues with the engine and specifically the character editor. So yeah, um, if you all have any other questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. If you have any concerns or saw any issues with the uh, tutorial, please let me know on uh, Discord. Uh, as always, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Um, let me know what you want to see next, join my Discord server, all that stuff. And with that, that is how you add a character in Codename Engine.